What are you doing here? Ivy said she heard a loud bang coming from inside the potions classroom. I knew you were here, so... What did you do, Daniel? Well, nothing much. I only spilled something. Um, do you remember the erumpent Hagrid showed us yesterday? The one he brought for care of magical creatures class? How could I forget? That thing was huge. And the horn that made things explode? That was... Oh. Oh no. Oh, yes. And believe me when I say pure irrumpent exploding fluid definitely lives up to its name. Thanks to me, it's all gone. Professor Slughorn is going to give me a month's detention or worse. Can't you replace it? What? You want to get it from a live irrumpent? Are you mental? No, of course not. But maybe we could find a shop that sells it. We might have to sneak in, but if we hurry, we can replace the bottle before the professor notices it's missing. I don't think we can get any explosion fluid in Diagon Alley. Well, I heard when some wizards want to buy something dangerous, Diagon Alley is the place to go. Are you sure we should be buying exploding fluid from someone on the street? Is that even legal? What choice do we have? No other shop even sells it. Obviously, Professor Slughorn got his from some place. I just hope it's not too expensive. Daniel, look. I think that wizard is trying to get our attention. You're the one looking for exploding fluid. Maybe. Do you have any? Not on me, but I know where I can get it. Local, very fresh. Won't be easy to procure, but I should have it soon. Very soon. Come back tomorrow and we'll... I'll be here. There, you see? No problem. As long as the professor doesn't need it before tomorrow. Daniel, don't you get it? Where do you think they're going to find an Arumpet in England? It must be the one Hagrid brought to class. They're going to steal its horn! Bloody hell, you're right. We have to warn Hagrid. Come on! Where's Hagrid? No time to find him now. We have to stop them. Rumpant. Antipodian Opalar. Bombastic Bomb. Watch one. 
Surely you won't. Now you're in trouble. The Arumpant still looks upset. Wait, Daniel. You always have a potion or two in your pocket, don't you? Anything that might help calm down an angry Arumpant? Right, let's see. I've got Amertentia, that's a love potion, definitely not. Essence of Ditney. Hmm. Ah, here we go. A calming draught. I think it's working. Even better. There's some exploding fluid pooled near where the Arumpan smashed into that tree. Enough to fill a small bottle. Wow. We protected the Arumpan and you got what you needed. I can't believe everything worked out so well. Daniel? What are you doing out this late? Hey, keep it down. Filch is in an especially foul mood tonight. The last thing I need is detention. If you must know, I'm going to pick herbs in the forest. I need some fluxweed, which has to be picked during a full moon to be effective for, well, for a certain potion. What potion? Wait, never mind. I don't want to know. But it's still dangerous in the Forbidden Forest, especially at night. I'm not going to spend the night. Just pick a few herbs and be on my way. And besides, I'll be perfectly safe with you by my side. Uh, fine, I'll go. But only because I know you'd go without me anyway. You really ought to be more careful. Robin said she heard some strange noises coming from the forest tonight. Is she still trying to teach Kevin to fly? Because it was probably just him whimpering. No, she said it sounded like animals fighting. And worse. Well, then we should definitely go. If there are any strange happenings in the forest, Hagrid will want to know. Maybe you're right. Come on, let's go. Strange. There's a fire still burning. That's odd. Maybe someone else is out hunting moonlit herbs. Wait. What's that smell? You didn't spill a potion nearby, did you, Daniel? No, of course not. That does smell familiar. Like a potion I can't quite remember. Maybe we should look around to see if we can find the source. We don't want any surprises. It 
it's almost out, but it looks like there's something in the ashes. Broken glass. And there are herb stalks scattered about. Very curious. This tent looks like something nearly knocked it down. And there are footprints around it. Not all of them human. The smell is stronger here, and the leaves are wet. Almost as if they were splashed with a potion. Did you find anything? I did. I think someone was brewing a potion. There are discarded herb stalks around the fire, and a broken bottle in the ashes. Like they were trying to hide what they were up to. But whatever they were brewing attracted attention. There are signs of a struggle beside the tent, and footprints that lead off into the forest. Not all of them human. And that's where the smell is strongest. Whatever the potion was, the brewer spilled a lot of it there. But why? I recognize these herb stalks. That's scurvy grass, that's lovage, and that's... Sneezewort. Could it be? What is it, Daniel? Of course, it's a befuddlement draft. I just made this last week. Why would someone brew it out here? What does it do? Well, if you or I took a sip, we'd become agitated, confused, you know, before... And what if it was given to a magical creature? I don't know. Persians don't affect beasts the same as wizards. It might do nothing, or it might make them very unpredictable. Actually, I think we're about to find out exactly what it'd do. Now you're in trouble. They're still coming. They must be attracted to the befuddlement draft. What do we do? They're too spread out to fight at once. Wait, that's it. Maybe the potion is the answer. Let's give them what they want. Nicely done. Thanks. 
But I feel bad about the beast. Do you think they'll be okay? The effects of the potion should wear off in time. We can tell Hagrid so he can check on them to make sure. If we're lucky, he'll be concerned enough that he'll forget to give us detention. Good idea. Still, why would someone do this? They were probably trying to hide what they were up to. Especially if it was for a prank. Unless... no. That doesn't make sense. What? I suppose you think they were testing it on animals just to see what it would do, right? That's rather ominous. That's rather ominous. You're right. It was probably just a prank gone awry. I hope so. I'm just glad it's over. Me too. But at least we did discover a good use for a befuddlement draft. You're right. If we're ever confronted by a large group of foes, we'll know just what to do. Someone is waiting up ahead. I don't know who it is. There's something growling up ahead. Actually, is that a howl up ahead? What do you want? Now you're in trouble. Antipodian of the law. Edit the pity, of Venom. Swelling solution. Fantastic bomb. smell again. Looks like the plants up ahead are thriving. That should be an ex- It's that disgusting smell again. It's so strong. It couldn't be just one beast, could it? Essence of death! Incendio! Brilliant! Just another example. Acromantula Venom! Acromantula Venom! noise. I think it's coming from just up ahead.
Sounds like tiny footsteps up ahead. A lot of them. What is that squeaking? A figure in school. Something just slithered past my foot and into the clearing. What is that squeaking noise? It sounds like a flock of angry budgies is close by. Now you're in trouble. I'll get you for this. Antipodium of Balar. Well, it's easy. Acromantial of Benham. Second symbol. Fantastic bomb. Incendio. Odeon Opalon. I'll get you for this. Fantastic bomb. Antipodian Opalon. Time turn. Swelling solution. Arch winding. 